Almost everyone's attention is focused to the COVID-19 pandemic, leaving the treatment of malaria, typhoid, and maternal health to be challenged, says James Pimundu, country director for Child Fund International Sierra Leone. He noted that as a child protection and child development organization, child maternal health is paramount to them. When uh, we were struck by COVID, we worked together with the Ministry of uh, Health to provide necessary uh, items, uh, masks specifically, that, and gloves that uh, supported uh, the, the Ministry of Health uh, in the initial stages of uh, the fight against uh, COVID. And it was during that time that uh, we had a conversation with the Ministry and the need for other drugs uh, arose. This is the season where we think malaria and uh, typhoid is very critical, but also a lot of pregnant women and lactating women are not going to hospitals. So what we are donating right now is basically focusing on the fight against malaria uh, and typhoid, and then the biggest percentage of it is for lactating women. Just to inform you, through the ministry again, we were able to import a container, a fruit container, for equipment that we want to donate to the children's hospital. Deputy Minister of Health, Dr. Amara Jambai says, the health ministry is in desperate need of medical supplies for essential service delivery. He noted that the global challenge of COVID-19 has made it difficult for the procurement of medical supplies, which is likely to hinder the fight against malaria. Challenges do come every now and then in the health sector. But we as a ministry, with support from you, we need to stand firm and say we can fight this fight and we can win for the sake of humanity. We will need COVID items. But that does not mean we have to forget about other aspects of healthcare delivery. Diseases do come. HIV did come, and we have been able to uh, uh, overcome the, the challenges of HIV. As women and children are part of the most vulnerable groups during health crises, Child Fund is hoping that the central medical delivery system will ensure effective and timely supply to the targeted beneficiaries in order to lessen malaria infection among women and children. Salifu Jerna Kamara, AYV News in Freetown.